Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 17. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so what we're going to do today is we are going to be... Uh, starting off on the race events, we've got numbers 1 to 4 to do today. Um, so that's 12 races, um, 3 in each championship. Aim for the ultimate in bike racing. A checkered flag is displayed on races that you can enter with the bikes currently selected. In order to compete in more challenging races, you will need to win racing bikes, which is the challenge mode that we've already done. Uh, so we're going to start off with Street Machine Cup Stage 1. Uh, so this requires displacement limit of under 250cc uh, and we are going to be taking this the Kawasaki D tracker um, so it's sort of like a quad bike um, I think it's got a gearbox which makes it slightly faster as well than the other ones but uh, we're going to be starting off with the Grand Valley Speedway let's go right so here we go we are at Grand Valley East section and we have actually swapped over from the um, I think it was a Kawasaki before. We swapped over to a Honda because it's uh, definitely much faster, this one. So, let's go. And we're off. A proper racing bike now. It's already got a higher top speed. The other bike was uh, 104 and we were at, well, much higher. It's gone very well so far. We only gained uh, 0.1 second with the other bike. This time we've gained over a second. So, look at this. Overtaken immediately. Very nice. Nowhere near enough power to do a wheelie yet. Oh, careful. There we go. We got around that corner very well. Mac Tools. Alpine Stars. I do like the look of the Alpine Stars logo. It looks really cool on, like, biker gear and car sponsors and stuff like that. It's a cool looking sponsor. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Dropping it down into the uh, idle rev there. Nice. Obviously, 1 minute 21 for a lap time is fairly decent around this track. Whether it's a car or a bike, that is a decent time. And to be honest, the performance difference from the lowest bikes in this game to the highest bikes isn't as big as, say, uh, Gran Turismo 4's lowest to most. Especially with um, the fact that the slowest car in that game is literally a one horsepower car. I haven't actually driven that one yet. I haven't unlocked it yet. I think it's part of one of the German challenges or something, but uh, yeah, we'll get it eventually. Awesome. Very nice. 
coming up to the final section of this lap now. Not long left to go. Two more corners. And we're 9.2 seconds ahead as well. So we've got a massive lead over our opposition. And here we go on the final straight. And across the line, finish. We've got a very nice win there. On the NS250R. Did us a very good job there. 40 brake horsepower that entire bike has. 40. But that was very good. Let's exit and get our rewards. Do we actually get rewards for this? Or are they just normal races? I presume there'd be some biker gear or something. There is a reward, and it's an entirely new bike. I was not expecting more bikes. That looks cool. Yamaha RZ250. Awesome. Are we going to start getting the older bikes through the events then? It seems like it. Uh, but next up is the Twin Ring Mategi Circuit. This is a four lap around the oval. Let's go. Right, here we go. We're at the Twin Ring Mategi. We're at the Super Speedway. Let's see if we can get a win. We need to overtake that bike up ahead. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay crouched probably for the entire race. Because we won't be going to any speeds slow enough that will cause us to have to brake and slow down big time. That was a really nice corner there. I think we are catching up just very slowly. Hopefully we can get there by the end. I think we will. It shouldn't be too difficult for us. Yeah, look at that. Right on the inside there. Now we're gone. Look behind, just miles away. Not even a problem for us. Nice. I actually wonder what part of the uh, Mategi ring is actually in the middle of this. It's the uh, later section, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. It might be. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. This is very good, though. There's not a lot of scenery in these races. <laughs> to be honest, they can be a little bit boring. Um, especially on bikes. Oval circuits aren't ideal. But these bikes are so much fun around proper circuits. Especially the actual twin ring as well. So good around there. Awesome. Coming to the final section of this lap. Let's see if we can do a fastest lap for this one. Can we do it? Hopefully. 4.9 second lead. Go, go, go. Not quite. 47.0. But that was a 3 minute and 8 second total race length. That was decent. And there we go, 40 horsepower.
And that is insane to say. A bike with 40 horsepower. I mean, you add the word bike, which probably makes it less surprising. But it's still surprising that 40 horsepower can pull you that quick. And there we go. We got ourselves a Honda XR250. Oh, that's a motocross bike, but for, for on-road. Interesting. I quite like that. I like that a lot. Let's have a look. The next track is Twin Ring Mategi. Three laps around the half circuit. The uh, short circuit. Let's go. Right, we are now here at the Twin Ring Mategi East short course. Let's go. This is obviously the short course with the proper long straight. You've obviously as well got the uh, other short course, which is even shorter than this one. Very good. Oh, slow down very quick there. Awesome. Oh, that's interesting. So I was mistaken. It's not the um, other part. It's sort of the large section of Mategi is surrounded by the oval. And now this part is outside of the Mategi circuit. Outside of the Mategi ring. That is really interesting. It's very effective track design. The fact that you can get an oval circuit. As well as a crowded circuit as well. But the, obviously it's like a full road course. Not a... Oh, we'll add a couple of corners in the middle. And we'll call it a road course. Because it's not. That's what they do with Daytona and stuff like that. It's not a proper circuit. It's obviously got corners. But that doesn't make it a proper track. It's still an oval track. With some added corners. Especially Daytona. There's only like two or three corners. Whereas this one. Is a proper circuit. With a proper oval. And what's even better is the two don't mix, no matter what. One thing I didn't notice as well, so uh, recently I've been playing a lot of um, Forza Motorsport. Specifically Forza Motorsport 4. And I didn't realise they actually have a lot more tracks in Forza Motorsport than they do in Gran Turismo. A lot more tracks. Obviously, they don't have dirt racing. They haven't had dirt racing ever. Which would be a cool thing to see in the new Forza Motorsport they announced. But Forza Motorsport 4 had... What was it? Had the twin ring. Had a lot of tracks. A lot of good tracks as well, surprisingly. And it's sort of... Just playing Forza Motorsport 4 made me want to play through all of them again. And uh, that's sort of for my plan for next year is to start a mega series. And that would last probably over three or four years. But it's a plan I've been wanting to do for ages and just never gotten around to doing. So it would be amazing to be able to do that. Awesome. And onto the brakes. There we go. Slow down big time for that corner. We got a 1 minute 40 on the last laps. Let's see if we can do any better. And I think instantly we've just thrown that in the bin. There we go. Nice. This is the final race of 
uh, this street course, this um, stage one of the street series. I think we'll go on to the next one for the next, uh, this episode as well. I think we'll do stage one and two today and then stage three and four tomorrow. Or next time, sorry. I don't think the video will be out tomorrow. That is very good though. One minute 12 so far for this lap. It doesn't say whether we're ahead or behind of our best time, which I don't think it does that unless you're on a um, time trial. So far though, we've driven six miles in this bike. Fairly decent. And we're not, probably not gonna end up driving this bike again. Because I think we're gonna go for a much more powerful one for the next one. But there we go. The Honda NSR 250R SE has beaten the Suzuki RG250 Gamma. Awesome. That was a very good race there. And I will take my prize money. Awesome. And there we go. Suzuki DRZ 400 SM. It's a nice... Ooh, fairly nice bike actually. I quite like that. Obviously, all of these bikes have been uh, 250 and below. But, the next championship, obviously we've done all gold on that, so that's number one completed. Stage two is now up to 750cc, so let's take a look at some 750cc bikes. We need to make sure we pick one that is um, not too heavy as well. Uh, where are the bikes? Um... Here we go. Right, displacement. Let's look for 749. This is the most powerful. And that looks like a fairly decent bike. I think we'll take that then. The Suzuki GSX-R 750. It is a street bike, so uh, it is uh, legal for this event. It won't be allowed to do, obviously, stage one. But it's maximum of stage two. And as you can see by the blue, it is available for stage two. So, hopefully, this will be a good choice. So there we go. Displacement limit under 750cc. And we are going to go around the Suzuka circuit for two races. As we're obviously taking each of the smaller ones. And then the Sakuba circuit. So let's go to the East Course first of all. Right, so we are here at the Suzuka Circuit East Course and we are in our Suzuki GSX-R. We're going against a what looks like a 600cc bike, so we should hit this easy. Oh, this thing's quick. And it can do wheelies. That is a result I like to see. Very good corner there so far. Oh, we fell off. And the AI fell off as well. We had a massive contact between the two of us. But at least both sides got penalised for that. Very good. The bike flows between these corners so nicely. Nice. Here we go. Into the braking zone. For the first corner. This is good, this is good. Oh, 
Oh, horrible corner there. Horrendous. Let's see if we can get that time back. Should be able to. And onto the brakes. Very wobbly through that corner there. The rear of the bike wanting to step out so much. Awesome. Control it through the corners. Very nice. This is going to be a lot less of a nightmare to edit as the, um, what is it, the challenge mode? Because the challenge mode was like 30 clips per video. Whereas this is just uh, probably only going to end up being six. Because they're full length races. But there we go. Cross the finish line. Two minutes 58.1. Very nice. The Honda coming in at a very measly... Not even finished yet. Plus 14 seconds. <laughs> that was ridiculous. 14 seconds behind that Honda was. But that was a very good race. Let's have a look and see what reward we get. Give me something good. Please. Oh, interested. No bike, but we got riding gear. Oh yeah, that's a good shout. I have changed my riding gear. So I've got something different from last time. Oh, and we get a bike as well. A Honda XR250 Motorrad. Awesome. Oh, I like that in gold. That is very nice. Interesting we don't get a choice of what color we want for these bikes. So I'm guessing these ones only had one color option. Um, but next up is going to be the Suzuka West Circuit. Now, I really do like this circuit, so hopefully we can get a win here. Right, we are here at the Suzuka Circuit West Course, and we are going against a YZFR6. I'm not 100% sure actually how powerful their Yamaha is, um, but we sort of have one of the most powerful bikes out of challenge mode, so hopefully we should beat it still. Obviously, we're not doing like in challenge mode where you start at max speed as if you came out of the final corner. You're starting with a slow rolling start in all of these, so. An interesting twist, but still very fun. This is going to be good. Oh! Nope. That was a rubbish corner, so we need to make sure to break a little bit earlier there. But look how quick this bike is. Still, after falling off, still in the running for a good, good lap and even getting first place. Very good corner there. Right, looking out for the uh, little notch here. Very good. I'm going to lift a little bit so that we can get around there as quick as possible. Nice. We're going to get ourselves a lap just over 1 minute 30 for this first one. But hopefully for the next lap we should get under. Because we did crash. Ever so slightly. And we've also got a running start as well. We've gone wide there though. But at least we got this corner nailed. Awesome. The other bike is over four seconds behind us at the moment.
Again, if we did that in challenge mode, it would have been game over. So, but now that I know we can go off track and not get instantly punished, I feel a little bit safer racing in this. I didn't actually expect to do all the challenges. I was expecting, like, the super ones to take forever, but surprisingly, they weren't too difficult. They weren't too difficult, which made the game enjoyable. And as a massive car fan, definitely enjoying bikes at the moment in this game. Which I presume that was sort of the goal that Polyphony was going for, was attracting new people. I mean, you would have had the Gran Turismo fans getting into bikes, and you would have bike game people getting into this. Because I would presume this would have been one of the best bike games on the PS2, and in fact ever, because of the fact that Polyphony just made a beautiful game on PS2, with Gran Turismo 4 especially. They just knew how to use the hardware to its fullest. Awesome. That was very good. Let's see if we can get a uh, below 130 on this one. Awesome. Awesome. And awesome. And we're actually flat out through there. We're very wide through there, so definitely lost time there. But I think we've done it on every single lap anyways. Oh, we might get a 31. One thirty one point zero four nine. That was a very good uh, last minute guess. Four minutes forty one seconds though for that. Very good. G G. One hundred and forty five brake horsepower this bike has. That's a massive step up from the uh, forty that we had before. And here we go. The Honda VT two fifty F racing modify. Nice, so we got a racing modified bike, so that means we can put our number on it, which is good. <laughs> Just plastered the number 69 everywhere. Brilliant. Right, final track is going to be the Sakuba circuit. Absolutely love this track. Let's see if the Suzuki can actually do a good job around it, though. That's another question. Right, here we go at the legendary Sakuba circuit. Let's do this. We're about 100cc above the other bike. Obviously, CC isn't an exact representation of power, but uh, it's a close one with bikes. Obviously, the more CC can guarantee you probably you'll have a little bit more room for horsepower. But there are obviously powerful 600cc bikes in this that are more powerful than the 1,000cc bikes, as we found out with the challenge mode. There definitely is some form of difference, and some bikes are more powerful. But if if we stick with CCs and look close to that, we'll find ourselves relatively decent bikes. Especially like now. This one is maximum of the displacement and it also seems to be the most powerful at the moment. I was doing a wheelie just to uh, enjoy that and um, realised I was getting very close to a corner and I didn't want to crash. That was very good there though. 0 0.9 seconds ahead. Which, compared to the last races, is nowhere near as much at all.
Awesome. Perfect. Nice. Four point one second lead now. That's very good. Do a tiny wheelie. One minute seven point zero five. That was a decent time there. Get around these corners as quick as possible. Oh, definitely overshot that corner. I have a feeling though the AI does that a lot as well on that corner. Overshoots it big time. That was a very good exit out of that chicane though. Awesome. Look at that. Wheelies for days. I'm having a wheelie good time. I am not sorry for that either. Look at that. 105.6. That was exactly 1.4 seconds faster than the last lap. 3 minutes 20 for that. Very good. And there we go. We won that race. That was a very good race to win, actually. A lot of fun around the Sakuba circuit to ride a bike. Definitely would not want to drive a supercar like you have to in one of those um, hard challenges in GT4. But there we go. We got ourselves a Yamaha RZ250 racing modifier. Which looks very similar to the last bike, surprisingly. But uh, we're going to do the same as what we do with every bike. Just put the number 69 on it. If we could put the number 420, I'd mix him up. But you can't, I don't think. So, we're sticking with this for now. But there we go. That is Street Machine Cup. Stage 1 and stage two completed. We're gonna move on to stage three and four next. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you wanna help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like